Hey everyone, Steve here with Class A Surfacing. So, I have my camera set up on the tripod. I have the object that I want to scan set up on the turntable. So this is one of the options that I bought. And uh, this is actually really great. This gives you the highest uh, definition for any parts that you want to scan. If they fit on the turntable and you can do it, just put it on the turntable. And uh, there's an option on there. It allows you to set it, say turntable, the HD option and basically go. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Now you're gonna see as soon as I hit start scan, it's gonna flash. Got all these fancy little lights going off. There's some lines. Maybe a little difficult for you to see. And as soon as it captures it, you can see right there, that's the first high density image. And it uh, there's a set right over here that allows you to tell it how many steps that you want to make a full circle to go 360 degrees. I have it set to 15. So it's going to rotate, take an image, rotate, take an image, rotate, take an image, total of 15 times until it gets all the way back to uh, 360. You can go, I think, uh, 180 steps for super high def or something like that. Yeah, 180 steps. So um, it'll move in all the way down to two degree increments. Once this is done, do not touch it until it is done. I'm going to take it and flip over the part and scan the bottom. And there's a method in there. If it doesn't automatically adjust the part over the top of the original scan, which in this case it won't because they're too similar, you can go in there and uh, fit the points. A couple of, you pick I think, three points um, from the two different scans and it'll automatically align everything and adjust and fit it. So um, when I come back, you'll see me starting up the scan. Okay, so here we are. Parts just finished uh, going around on the turntable. And all I'm going to do is take it, flip it over. Now it gives me the options to do some editing here, which I don't want to do. I'm just going to just give it the green check mark. It's going to go past. And then I can say make the mesh, or I can say continue scan. So in this case, I am going to continue scan. And it's going to work its magic. So we'll let this, we'll let this do what it's going to do. And then I, um, I'll clean up the uh, STL, dump it into NX, and I'll drive some surfaces off of that. OK, we're done scanning. And if you look at the old screen over here, you're going to see, let's do this, you're going to see it's asking me if I want to clean up the scan because sometimes it'll pick up a bit of noise. I don't really want to do anything with it until I combine the two scans. Now when I hit the green check mark, you're going to see it's going to lay them over the top of each other. And um, for this, here, let me just, I'll just do it here because I'm here. There's an option here that allows me to align, and it's pretty straightforward. So this is my first scan, this is my second scan, and what I like to do is I like to just put them into the proper position in space, like this was the bottom scan, so I'm just going to turn that over. And then this is the, that top scan, and I have some pretty good idea of where everything needs to line up because I have a hinge on the back of this thing. So I'll just go over here, like that, and just pick uh, three points. Um, I have to hold the shift key down. So I want to pick, let's say, that point to that point. Those are two two common points. Shift key, that point. Finger out the shift key. Shift key, that point. And then do the same thing over here. Shift key down, up. Shift key down, up. And then as soon as I lift my finger up off of that shift key, indicating that I'm done making the pick for the point, you'll see it's combined those two scans. It knows how to align them. Uh, this is an interesting part because it has a metallic coating on it as far as the paint goes. And it's that metallic coating. It sort of gives it a almost sort of like a little uh, ripple effect on those surfaces, it looks like. But uh, once you compile it and, and get everything, um, and you'll see in the, in the next video when I bring it in NX, that uh, it's real easy to fit surfaces over the top of that because it's taking the best fit from the top and the bottom scans. But it's uh, basically it. It's really simple and it does a really good job of uh, collecting as many points 
basically as you want off of any part. A um, little warning though, um, you do need a good light source in the room, lights everywhere, um, nice constant source of light. And um, what I'm noticing is if the part is just bright white or if it's uh, black, shiny glossy black, some stuff like that, has a hard time picking it up. And the reason behind that is, is because if you look at the turntable, you'll see the turntable itself is black as well as the little spots on the turntable that it uses for alignment, those are white. So those are little hot spots it picks up. So um, you may have to do a spray, or you may have to put stickers on it, markers, or something to um, basically allow the scanner to pick up those items if you're doing it on top of the turntable. Now I haven't done it on a tabletop, I haven't done it on a countertop or anything like that as of yet. I'm gonna give it a shot uh, later on when I'm doing it in a handheld mode. But um, like I said, for the most part, um, using the turntable has been an absolute joy and uh, I highly recommend it. If you're, if you're going to get one of these, I highly recommend getting the scanner if you're doing small parts. Absolutely I do. Thanks for watching. This is Steve with Class A Servicing. If you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them down below. And uh, if you like the video, please like it, uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and share with your friends. Thanks.